Hey guys, John Connor here, and I'll be making a tutorial for you guys on how to make the Seven Roach Rush. Seven Roach Rush is a pretty good build, which is fairly new at the moment also. I'll be showing you an all-in variant today, and it's been working pretty well lately. I've won 17 games out of the last 20 I've played with this trick, and it's been pretty hard to counter for anybody else. I've only lost to Void Ray Rushes, and two Zergling Rushes by Zerg, so versus Zerg is less good. And you just see me getting ready right here. You get 10 drones, and then you do the extractor trick, which is where you get an extractor, make a drone, and then cancel, so you're then 11 out of 10 supply. Then once you do that, you pop out an Overlord, and then you just wait here for spawning pool. So you can just see me here talking, a little confused with what my opponent's saying. And you always want to send out your overlord during this to see where your opponent is, if it's a four person map. Because then you can send one overlord and this overlord to the other bases. And then use process of elimination to see where your opponent is. And this will be very important. And spawning pull out. You're going to want to build up the 15 drones and then build an extractor. So you're just waiting out for that right now. This guy is always waiting here, not really doing much. And just two more drones. And it's kind of slow at the start, so I guess. And I've been getting a couple requests from people to cast more of my own games, some more pro games. I'm not really sure what people want, so just send me an inbox on what you'd like to see more of. And I'll probably try and do it. Well, I will try and do it. Probably get around to it. And Extractor going up by 15. You want to get back up to 16 population. And then you want to make a queen. I made mine like a second before because the larvae was not out yet. And then you'll want to put three guys on gas right away, as soon as possible. And you got the Overlord right here scouting out. That way you can see if any early rushes are coming, and more helpfully, in the four person maps, you can see where they spawned. And you want to put the Roach Warren up right after you build the Queen as soon as possible. And once you build the Roach Warren, build the drone to replace the lost drone you lost. And you'll want to build two more Overlords, and then just wait. And you can see right here, I see that he's got a little wall. I want to keep my guy right around here, so that he does not get picked out. Once you spit with your queen, you want to walk her over to enemy base, and she'll get there just in time to start attacking. This is assuming you found the base, which you will have, if you scout a few overlords. And now I'm just waiting for this spit to go down. Just pulling up some minerals to get as many roaches as possible. And you can see he built a little engineering bay right here. Really smart move, he didn't finish it so that way he can just cancel it when it gets to low health. And it stops me from fast expanding, which is what most people do versus Terran. Very smart move right here for my opponent. I've been using this thing versus many diamond level players, and it's been working pretty well. So hopefully you guys who watch it and take to it right here, use it well in your good leagues that you guys are in. So, so you can see right here I hatched my roaches. And I got two more, so it's an eight roach rush. It's a little bit different because I had some extra minerals. Whatever, no big deal. And I like to leave one guy behind and just send mine minerals. I don't know. Sometimes gas, I'm not really sure. If I've got like a roach that dies. And you can see, I'm not really too observant right here. I left my guy there. But I should be sending them. And my queen just gets there in time. Should be sending her up the ramp. She will have enough energy for transfuse when you go for the attack, so you can give one of these roaches another 125 health, which is another lease on life. You're gonna want to break down one of these supply depots as soon as possible. Get your drones in on the combat. It shouldn't be too hard, unless they've got repairs, but they usually will not. Then they'll send the drones to attack. You want to send your drones to attack too. And you should win since roaches are beasts versus workers. Now we're just killing this stuff. You can see we got a tank out. That tank won't be very helpful as it will be dead soon. And you can see how the enemy doesn't really have much of a chance. He will be trying to fly away his base. But I don't really see that working very well because I can now just run all my workers back and start harassing him. And he has no more troops. Whereas I have troops. You know the army value? It's highly skewed towards me of 28 population, he's only got 8. And one last supply window down, should pretty much supply block. And this one more supply do- oh no, it's the command center, my bad. 
And you see these right here, I send my guys back to mine since he's running away. And I don't want to mule up and get like an economic advantage. And I will be running my roaches down. I'm making a couple zerglings soon, I'm pretty sure. And that way I can just stick one at every base. You'll all move your overlords, unlike I did in this game, because since it was one of my first triumphs with this strategy, when you're playing Terran, you want to send one overlord to each base to make sure they can't recolonize or do any of that funny business, as I like to say. And right now, just breaking down the rock so that he cannot hide around in his corner. This is especially tough with island bases, so most Terrans will not do this. I'm not really quite sure what the counter is to this strategy. I really have only died to Zergling Rushes. Look at this. And you can see a couple of guys right here waiting while one guy builds a command center, which you cannot see. And I am sending my Zerglings, which should be here to destroy the army soon enough. Roaches should be going up the ramp, and it will be GG. See a mule? Those things always scare me. Sometimes you'll just be looking at your own base, and all of a sudden will just fly across the top half of your map, and you're not really sure what's going down. You think you're playing campaign for a second, and they're dropping war pigs or whatever. Not really quite sure. It's kind of scary sometimes, so. And it's GG. So I'll give you a quick run-through of the build. You start off with an 11, oh, you have to 10, build the extractor trick, 11 overlord, 11 spawning pool, 15 gas, 16 queen, 18 rotorn, eight, go to 18 with drones again, 2 overlords, and spit with your queen, walk her over, and profit I guess. There we go, that's been the 7 roach rush, though I had enough for 8. See you guys, and this has been John Connor, signing out.